Hey, I am here today with Jack Harrington. He is a full stack principal engineer. He also runs the Blue Collar Coder channel on YouTube, which I love. He's also got Thanks. a Pro Next JS course he's going to talk about. Jack, welcome. I appreciate you being here today and sharing your time with us. I appreciate the invite, Dave. Thank you so much for having me. You bet, man. Hey, before we get serious, I always like to ask just, you know, some kind of lighthearted question. And sure. I know you're in the Pacific Northwest, right? Indeed. Yeah. So Portland. I want to ask if you can narrow it down. Now, I've been there. I love it. But what is your favorite thing about living in the Pacific Northwest? Oh, the hiking. It's so amazing. And actually, that's one of the great things about doing this kind of content creation stuff is you kind of run your own schedule. And my wife and I have been really getting into hiking. We did this hike over near the beach just recently that was just unbelievably gorgeous, you know, cliffside hike and stuff. And then getting out there and taking photos and hanging with our dog. And yeah, it's just great. You know, it's just a really, it's a green place. It's super lush and green. And coming out of California, when I was in the Bay Area, it was all, you know, kind of golden brown, kind of very dry. But up here, it's just so lush and green and beautiful. And there's a great waterfall. So, it's, yeah, it's just a wonderful place to go and hike. That is awesome. I have absolutely loved all of the green and, and everything growing mm -hmm. when I visited. I'm over here by Kansas City. And okay. We, we have the, the prairie, you know. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> A lot of right, times right, the prairie right. isn't always green. <laughs> nice. Hey, man, uh, first question I wanted to ask, and let me uh, reference my notes, because <laughs> one thing different about our, our channels, really, I would say, now, I love your channel, and you've got so much experience that you dive into some, not just intermediate, but some advanced topics. Uh, on my channel, I have, you know, I have the university background, and I've always focused on beginners. I, I get into the intermediate a little bit. So I'm, I'm interested from your point of view, if you had one piece of advice for beginners, what would you tell them? Oh, that's a great question. So my advice to folks is to, and this is just really, really basic stuff. When you're coding, code, test, code, test, code, test continuously. What I find a lot of folks do very early on in their career is they'll just code and code and code and code and code, and they won't test and then it'll blow up and they have no idea where in all the code that they just added between that and the last time that they tested, they should go looking for an error. And it's just very, very basic stuff. But it's like, if you just code and test continuously, I mean, you've got a laptop, it's easy enough. And it's just very interactive. You can just boom, 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 boom. You always know that like, if you add a bug, you basically is probably in the code that you just added, which makes it very easy to narrow down what the issue is or was. And then you can kind of get into that, that great cycle of just, you know, code, test, fix it, code, test, you know, and then go, 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 go. And it's just so much easier. And I, I just find that like early on in folks' careers, they just get to the point where they code, 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 code. And then they, it's almost like they, they get really stressed out. It's like, Ooh, I don't know. Is it going to run? And then they'll, you know, they'll run it and it won't work. And they're like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then, I don't know where, 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 and it's cool. It's cool to be able to try and fix it at that point, but it's also easier to just kind of know that it's probably in the code that you just added. So that, that would be the, you know, just getting that workflow. Cause that's one of the things about coding is I, I don't think people really talk about like the actual mechanics of how to code. You know, they talk about, algorithms and data structures and, you know, components and yada, 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 and state management and whatever. But they just don't talk about the mechanics of basically just like, okay, what's the rhythm of coding? What, how do I actually get stuff done? Man, I like that phrase, the rhythm of coding. <laughs> that is a great way to remember it. And you see so many people like me on YouTube that are, that are not only coders, but have some type of instrument, guitar or whatever in the background, I think there's something to that. Yeah, for sure. And realize that, you know, people who are out there coding on YouTube, they probably taken, that's their third time going through that code or fourth or fifth time going through that code. And they're going to make it look real easy. Like it is when folks are up there playing Stairway to Heaven for that 8,000th time, right? They can do it in their sleep. Well, yeah, you know, that that's, so that's why it looks that easy and that fluid don't expect that that's the way it's going to be in real life. And it's not that way for me the first time that I'm trying out something. Oh my God, I had a bug last night that I was working through. It took me 
Ugh, it took me an hour and a half to try and get that thing figured out. And even though I was doing my code test, code test, code test, code test thing, you know, but yeah, sometimes you just get stuck. Totally. Hey, I can totally relate to that, except when I get stuck, it's a lot longer than an hour and a half. So you're way ahead of me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next question I have for you, and you dive into some great new technologies and, you know, always something new that I can find on your channel. But what I wanted to ask with so many new things coming out, you know, what has got you excited right now? What's the one thing, you know, like in React 19 or is there something mm -hmm. in Next.js? Is it Astro? What's got you excited? Uh, Astro is very, very exciting. I'm always impressed by what they've got going on with Astro. It's a great team. And if you haven't watched any of Ben's stuff, Ben Holmes' stuff, he's fantastic. Talk about like a natural teacher, someone who can go through these really, really difficult concepts and break them down. Like his stuff, figuring out how to do RSCs or React Server Components from scratch is just phenomenal. You'll never know React Server Components as, you will, as well as you will after watching that video. So... Yeah, that's a, that's that's great stuff. But the stuff that I'm talking about are React US, the the generative UI with AI, I think is is endlessly fascinating, and I think it's going to revolutionize how we think about our how we interact with machines. So I'm I'm really excited about it. Well, hey, I'm glad you brought that up because that leads right into my next question. I love a good segue. You're going to be at React Summit US, New York, November 19th in person. Yeah, and you, are you going to be about, there? I'm sorry. Are you going to be there? I am not. I apologize. Oh, I wish okay. I could be. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They are having an online session, though, as well. So JS okay. Nation is the day before on November 18th, React Summit in person on November 19th. And then they have the online sessions. Uh, or online versions of the conference, November 21st and 22nd. So I'll put all of that in the video description as well. What I wanted to ask you though, about the generative AI that you're speaking about, um, you, without giving away your talk, <laughs> you give us just a little smidgen, you know, a couple of details. So the idea is that you let the AI drive the UI. So you give the, the, AI, a set of tools, you say, oh, okay, you know, if you want to talk, I'm going to create a, a stock market app or something like that. And so when people interact with you and chat with you as the AI, right, you're going to be talking about stocks. And so when you want to talk about a stock, just let me know. And here's some UI that you can use to render a graph of how the stock is performing or whatever. And it gets to decide for itself, what, how it wants to interact with the user beyond just text, because we, you know, we're so used to chat bots now. <laughs> I mean, I guess a year and a half, two years, whatever, right? the amount of time that we've been used to them, but we're so used to that, that we, we think of it was just, everything's just going to be text or marked down. But with the new, uh, AIs, you can give it a, a set of tools to either let it go outside of its little sandbox and say, okay, well, I've got some internal data. Here you go. If you, if you need it, let me know and I'll go and get you that data. Or in the case of visual presentation stuff, you can give it basically a set of, of widgets and tell it how to go and put that all together. And I don't, I don't think I'm giving any away. I don't think most people know about this. So it, it's going to be great. It's going to be really interesting. You're going to get some example code that you can just try out. Uh, and it's, it's going to be really fun. Awesome. And Git Nation puts on great conferences. They I really do. No yeah, doubt. they really do. They, they're incredibly well organized, you know, just from the, the speaker's perspective. It's really great to work with that team. They're right on top of everything. And then, yeah, from the, the, the hallway tracks, as they say, when you're out there meeting folks, I mean, I, I love to go out and just get out of the green room and go and, you know, shake hands and see people and answer questions and do selfies and whatever you want to do. That's the, that's the best thing. Networking, meeting everyone. I, I love it. Yeah. So yeah. Jack, you will be there on November 19th. And that is awesome. Before we go today, just tell everybody where they can find you on the web. I highly recommend your blue collar coder channel. 
Thank you. Yeah. So I'm a youtube.com sl- uh, slash at Jahrer, J H E R R. And it's kind of weird. I guess I started with my own personal channel and it just became the blue car coder. I don't know, whatever. And <laughs> I also uh, did a course just recently called pro nextjs.dev. And it goes everywhere from the basic mechanics of the new app router with nextjs, which is can be fairly complicated because it's got the React server components and a couple other kind of factors. Cap- that can kind of make it a little bit challenging, uh, but it's also very powerful. So we go through the basics of that, and then we go into some really cool, very advanced stuff uh, that you know pushes the boundaries of Next.js. So you, know, you will learn a lot about how it works by pushing the boundaries of it. So I'm I'm really excited, and I, I'm really excited to uh, you know, get the feedback from folks. People, folks have told me that it's been a great course for them, so I'm really happy about it. And that's pronextjs.dev. Oh, I'm sorry. One more time, Jack. Sure. And that's pronextjs.dev. Awesome. You heard it here, (laughs) pronextjs.dev. Jack, thank you for your time today. And I want to remind all the viewers that you'll be at React Summit on November 19th, and the online version of React Summit is on November 22nd. Of course, this also corresponds with JS nation that is taking place November 18th and online November 21st. I'll put a discount link to both in the description so everyone can get a discount and make sure they attend. Woohoo! Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection, and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.